Welcome to Marigold Lesson, The Enormous Turnip. In this session we are going to do exercises from the textbook. Name and draw four vegetables that have to be pulled out from the earth. Since we have to pull them out of the earth, they must be vegetables which grow below the ground. The first vegetable is the commonly used potato. Second vegetable is carrot which also grows below the ground. Third one is red beetroot. As the name indicates it is a root and grows below the ground. The last one is radish which is similar to turnip and grows below the ground. Excellent. Here is a crossword puzzle. How many vegetables can you find in this maze? Draw a circle around each word. I can see potato at the bottom left hand corner. On the top there is turnip which I am marking. Next to it is beans. I am marking the same as well. I can see peas near the top right hand corner. Below that is carrot. and below the word carrot i see the word tomato fantastic now let us play the game of opposites a word is given you have to find the opposite word the first word is pull when you want to close the door you pull it when you want to open the door you push So the opposite of pull is push. Black is a color. On a blackboard it is nice to write with the white chalk as they are contrasting. So white is the opposite of black. True means something which is real. Opposite word as false which is not real. Next word as right. Answers to the maths problem can be either right or wrong. So wrong is the opposite of right. Far means at a distance. Something close is near. So near is the opposite of far. Bad is the opposite of good. Light is the opposite of dark. We go up and then we come down. So down is the opposite of up. We have an old man and a newborn baby. So old and new are opposites. Well done. How do you like to eat these vegetables? Oh, not all vegetables can be eaten raw. We usually make salad out of vegetables that can be eaten raw. Others are cooked in sabjis and sambars. Carrot and onion can be eaten raw. Turn up potato and beans are cooked. In English we use the word carrot when we have only one carrot with us. When we have many we use the word carrots. A carrot followed by one s. Words that address single item are called singular. The word used to address more than one items together is called plural. Carrot is singular usage. Carrots is plural usage. So similarly for turnip we have turnips, for onion we have onions, for potato we have potatoes. Wait, wait. You must realize it is difficult to pronounce potato with just s, so we add e s instead of just s to potato. So for several potato we say potatoes So I guess similarly for tomato it will be tomatoes That's right you both are quick learners Here is an interesting exercise one word in each of the following sets is different from the other circle the odd one out The first set of words are vegetables, turnip, potato, tomato, sunflower, carrot and brinjal. Oh, here sunflower is a flower and not a vegetable. 
So is the odd one out. Next set of words are animals, cow, horse, goat, fox, kangaroo, and melon. Aha, here melon is a fruit and not an animal. So is the odd one out. Next set of words are trees, banyan, neem, people, mango, snake, and apple. Snake is an animal and not a tree. So is the odd one out. Next set of words are flowers, rose, lily, sunflower, lotus, and cauliflower. Cauliflower is a vegetable not a flower. So is the odd one out. Last set of words are birds, peacock, parrot, lizard, crow, and woodpecker. Oh, lizard is not a bird. So is the odd one out. Well done. You both identified all of them accurately. Here is the last exercise. Say these words aloud. Pull. Cool. Cut. Full. Rude. But. Put. Shoot. And shut. Excellent. With this we have come to the end of the lesson, the enormous turn up.